So this is some of the stuff that I do with my jars. I have purchased items and just jarred it up or I have mixed it or cooked it, dehydrated it in some way, altered it. Um, I really like to put things in here. This is my old china hutch and uh, it's uh, in a mess right now. That's the need for uh, the pantry challenge. Um, I put everything in here. Sometimes I just toss it in when I buy it. Sometimes I uh, actually spend a little bit of time putting it up properly. Um, that jar right there, chili season, that one was impressive to me. I found the like the mixes of chili seasoning packs on sale and I was I had been looking for a chili seasoning recipe and they all said something different so I got really confused and I just decided to go ahead and buy it one more time and take a look at the the recipe on the back of it and um so now I've got these and I had like 10 packs of them they were on a really good deal like two for a dollar or something and so I just decided that instead of trying to keep track of all the little packs I decided to open them all up and throw them in this jar and seal it up so now it's vacuum packed um, it's not my chili seasoning however it's chili seasoning so anytime I need a little bit of extra oomph in my chili I just go ahead and toss some of that in there this is my um, dehydrated hash brown potatoes um, and I do those quite easy from frozen, just from frozen. Um, that looks like cheese powder. Back there, I think that's yellow rice. Yeah, that's yellow rice. Um, oh, here's some more mixes. Um, I don't really do store-bought mixes anymore, except for this. This I do. That's my uh, sweet and sour sauce packets and I couldn't figure out that recipe either and so I ended up ordering these from a, a restaurant supply and um, I got a really big box of it. It's a really good deal and it's lasted me for forever because I'm the only one that uses it in the house so it's just lasted forever and uh, I love it. I use it on, you know, sweet sour meatballs and stuff like that. And then I like to get the the number 10 cans of uh, freeze-dried and dehydrated goods when I can get a good deal. That one's cheesy broccoli, I think. And what is that? Oh, my goodness. Who knows? Oh, that's my homemade breadcrumbs. And soup mix. And some. Pasta, instant pasta, homemade rice aroni mix, um, looks like there's some pistachios, uh, freeze dried chicken, uh, snack mix. Now that snack mix, I went to the dollar store and that is two bags of dollar twenty five snack mix. So that's two fifty worth of snack mix and it's in a half gallon jar and it is sealed and that will last. It will not go stale. Guys, it will not go stale. I've had crackers that don't go stale for years. I've kept chocolate chips. I have kept oh so many things. Oh, that's some candied kiwi. We'd never gotten it before, and so we tried it, and we like it, but it's really, really sweet for me. Um, let me see, what else? Um, 
some more number 10 cans up here. Originally I wanted to keep only number 10 cans up here, but if you see, the space on top isn't big enough for two cans. It's only big enough for a can and a half. Or, like down here, a quart jar and a smaller, like, classico jar. So that's pretty much what I have to do in here. So, like I said, I have to rearrange it and figure out how to do it properly, but um, there's some more freeze-dried. Now, freeze-dried is different. If you don't know, freeze-dried is a different process completely than dehydrated. And dehydrated is a completely different process than uh, just packaged. So you've got your packaged, you're dehydrated, and you're freeze dried. And they're all used differently, but like it's a different process. Like baking is different than roasting, which is different than boiling. They're all just different cooking processes and different preserving processes. Um, I do smoking products. I have no idea what that one is. Don't even ask. I don't want to take it out of there. Um, Oxen Farms, I like them. Um, what's that? Pantry Essentials, I believe. Um, Oxen Farms, Everyday Essentials. Um, what's the other ones that I've gotten before? Oh, that one's Everyday Essentials. Everyday essentials or emergency essentials? Uh, they make them all. Oh, there's Mountain House back there. Um, and there's Thrive Life somewhere, and just so many different ones. And I really like freeze-dried products. Um, oh, this is something that I can show you here. This, my husband and I went to the store. We're going to try these out at some point. These are, um, they're like MREs. And this is uh, s'mores cookies. Doesn't that sound delicious? And it says it's self, self-heating and fully, fully baked. So, we'll have that. And then, oh, that's just, these are the ones I use the most, rice and oats and flour. Um, this one is pepperoni pizzas with cheese and sauce. So, we're going to try those when he gets back. We're excited to try those. We, we try different stuff all the time just to, just to see, you know, what we like, what we don't like. We have talked about getting a freeze dryer, but at this point we're not willing to <laughs> do all the work, put all the work into it. It takes a lot of work. It's not, it's not as easy as setting up for freeze drying. I mean, for um, dehydrating. I'm sorry, dehydrating. Not as easy. And um, of course, it's it's a lot more expensive. Um, I have thought about, you know, doing it, but I'm just not ready for that. Um, type of commitment, I guess. Um, and I really do like doing the dehydrating, and, and, and I like buying what I can in bulk and, and getting good deals, looking for good deals, and uh, stocking up on it. And and uh, mainly the pantry challenge for us is, is not really not going to the store because... I think if you have a pantry at all, you should be able to make at least a couple of weeks without going to the store. You should. I mean, that's, to me, that doesn't make any sense to have a pantry challenge like that because if you can't make it through a couple of weeks, you're doing it wrong. That's my opinion. Do you? But that's that's my opinion. <laughs> if, you're, if you've got a pantry of any size, I mean, even just this much right here, I could get through... 
Good golly, I could get through six months with this. Of course, it's just my husband and I, so, but, I mean, we've got everything here. We've got snacks, we've got vegetables, we've got soups, we've got fruits, we've got, I've got chicken bouillon back there, I've got pancake mix, I've got, oh, I don't know, dehydrated mushrooms, I've got cheese sauces, and I've got cream and mushroom soup, and all kinds of things that you can possibly think of in here that I don't even think. I think we have tea in here. I don't think we have coffee in here, and my husband will kill me for that, but we do have extra coffee. We have instant coffee extra, which lasts forever, so, you know, I could just toss one up here. There's an empty space. See that empty space? There's a beautiful empty space right there, so I could put it there. Anyway, so let me know what you think. This is just, you know, the way I do it. And uh, still working it out, like I said. Um, trying to figure things out on this 100-year-old farmhouse homestead. And uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or questions, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.